Hello and welcome to another episode of my Wild Knitting Podcast. Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to share with you a lot of projects that I've been working on. If you're new here, my name is Martina Elisabetta. I live in the center of Italy with my partner and two beautiful puppies. We're trying to learn the art of land reliancy. It's a long journey. We're trying to make the things that we need with our own hands. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, I absolutely cherish your presence and you know it and if you don't know it know it <laughs> no but <laughs> i really hope you uh, will enjoy this one as well and thank you so much for your support i will announce also the little giveaway winner we celebrated one year of this channel um, a couple of videos ago and I want to share with you the little winner even though I think everyone is a winner um, I wish I could <laughs> gift you something or gift something to everyone but um, we're getting there we're getting there we hope one day I'll be rich enough to buy you all some gifts uh, <laughs> but um, for now I wanted to gift to a person uh, that I picked randomly a book a very nice book is called The Wild Craft and it's a book about different recipes and crafts to explore with different wild plants that you can forage around you and if you're not into that, it's still an amazing book to have on your coffee table because it's so beautifully made. Uh, so I'll pick the giveaway winner at, at the end of the video. I'll try to put timestamps so if you are um, not interested in what I have to say today, you can just check um, the different timestamps and skip ahead. Um, we're sitting by the fire because it's freaking cold we're in the middle of winter here we are in the northern hemisphere um, in Italy and it's absolutely cold we live um, at 600 700 above a uh, meter above sea level and there has been a lot of snow and wind and rain these days the winter is here and is showing himself to us <laughs> Okay, let's start to uh, talk a little bit about my finished objects. I've finished quite some projects uh, between the time of my last podcast episode and this episode. Um, in fact, I think there was Christmas in between, so I finished a lot of little gifts that I gave away and didn't really capture and so I'm going to show you some of the projects that I finished recently. Uh, I have five little finish objects. Um, they're mostly like accessories. I finished three hats. When I started my knitting journey I started knitting hats. I would knit so many hats um, but I strangely enough I don't own hats. I gift them all. Um, so I wanted to have some hats for myself and these are for myself and um, I've knitted um, so two of them are uh, I kind of didn't follow any pattern I followed the decreasing uh, of the crown uh, of the watch cap hat by Pearl Soho but the rest I kind of freestyled the stitch count and the pattern the like the ribbing is different so both of them have a one by one ribbing and a two by two ribbing so one by one 
um, on the on the brim and a two by two on the crown, both of them. This is knitted with an amazing unspun yarn that I uh, got gifted by Caroline. Love you. <laughs> she contacted me and she said that she had um, some Nutiden yarn. This is Nutiden by Hanne Rocker. Uh, it's a Swedish unspun yarn, a Swedish company that makes this Swedish uns unspun yarn. And I love that yarn for real. Like I started knitting uh, with this yarn not so long ago and the garment I made for myself, like a little pullover, with uh, knitted with this unspun yarn, I wear it too much. <laughs> it's my most worn winter garment, so I really like it. It's so warm and so soft at the same time. Um, so I've knitted this hat and I've used it so much. It's kind of like hanging a bit. But it's so beautiful and I love the color, I love everything about this hat. The fit, everything is amazing. And I decided to also, I was really into hats. Um, maybe a month ago I was really like making a lot of hats again. Um, I kind of stopped for a year or something and then I started again making hats. And um, I made, made two hats, one for my mom this with the same yarn and one for my sister. And I used, for my sister, I used this um, yarn that she actually gifted me for Christmas. This, is, this hat is for me, but I made another one um, for my sister with the same yarn in another color, like a fuchsia pink. And... Uh, this yarn is beautiful, it's a yarn uh, that comes from uh, Ireland, uh, the company is called Townhouse Yarns, go and check them out, I'll put the links in the description box because they make really beautiful yarns. This is a merino and silk blend and it's hand dyed in this beautiful forest color. This is, I follow a pattern and it's the um, Oslo hat by Petit Knit and I really really love this hat as well this beautiful green it's so as you can see I didn't talk about what I'm wearing but as you can see I love a lot of like foresty colors greens and browns and uh, these two are love love them then I knitted also a hat as I showed you before with a some leftover like scraps that I had from a cardigan. This is um, knitted with ruby and roses, a silk mohair and merino and cashmere blend held it together and I'm also strangely enough I <laughs> am getting very attracted to pinks and lilac, lavender colors these days. I'm very attracted to that. So I think this year will, I'll explore that attraction. <laughs> I'll knit with more, you know, pinks and violets color. I'm not really into like deep purple, but um, not the band, the colors. <laughs> But I'm really into this type of colors. I don't know. It's attracting. It's attracting. I'm really into reds also. In fact, another Finnish object. Little mittens. Fingerless mittens. I shared uh, the pattern. Um, I came up with a little pattern. And I shared it in a video if you want to check it out. They're nice. They're functional. I've knitted them with a sock yarn. Um, yeah, I think I'll knit them in a 100% wool and maybe yarn as well, um, but they're really nice and I've added this kind of lateral braid detail just to add something going on. Very practical, so 
I'm happy I finished those and if you want to check the pattern you can just go on my uh, on my channel and you will see them and then I finished this is a project that I started um, in May last year so the only thing that I thought was finished and then I tried it on and it snapped <laughs> so it's kind of like a little very light fluffy mohair like um, kind of camisole um, I follow the pattern uh, the ghost whisper by Park Williams and I wanted to knit it with um, like puffy sleeves but then I didn't have I think enough of the yellow and I couldn't be bothered to be honest and as you can see as in as I mentioned before <laughs> I, I tried it on, I finished it, I added this kind of like ribbing and I think I cast it on too tight that, so when I tried it on it snapped, the, the cast off kind of snapped so I have to figure out how to fix this in this area. I think it was too tight and it kind of broke. Um, so it's not really completely finished I guess but um, almost. And uh, I don't know, I think I've, I've, I've tried to, to style it um, as a kind of on top of a winter or like a long sleeve garment and I didn't really like, like it so much. So I think I'll use it in spring, maybe with a bralette underneath. It will be like kind of I don't know. I don't know if it's so functional this garment to be honest, but it's it's light. It it doesn't bother anyone. <laughs> and maybe one day I'll find a way to style it. It's just that I really love to overwear my uh all my my garments. If I don't wear them, I gift them or unravel them and, you know, knit something else because yeah, I want to use everything I I I make and I actually do there isn't almost a day where I don't wear a knitted garment all seasons and that's um, very rewarding for me I actually knit out of both a need of beauty and an actual necessity of having you know warm garments for example or cool garments I don't know so I'm very proud that I can make my own wardrobe. It's really priceless, I think. <laughs> Even if there is a price, like you have to pay for yarns and you have to have extra time to make your own things, but it's so rewarding and you can make beautiful things. I really love to experiment with with fibers and patterns and like come up with different details and constructions. It's so fun. I've knitted this garment with a one strand of silk mohair. I used uh, drops, kid silk. I had it in my stash and used it. Um, yeah, I think I really like the look of it. I mean, it's really, it's really romantic. It's nice. It's just very snapped. And it's not that like, this is tight, but when I wear it, my arms still have space. It's not there like it's not that this is kind of squeezing my arms or my armpits. It's just that probably like as I was wearing it, it kind of snapped. I don't know, I think I stretched it too much or something. Okay, let's dive into my work in progress projects because that's exciting. So <clears throat> <clears throat> let's start with this one since I mentioned already the yarn so I mentioned that I had this beautiful unspun yarn that I got gifted um, beautiful yarn thank you so much Caroline we did a little yarn swap but she gave me beautiful yarns and okay so this is a pullover that I'm knitting. I'm actually knitting it as part of a um, knit-along. It's called the 
bougie sweatshirt knit along and is hosted by the beautiful and delightful Casey from the Young uh, Folk Knit podcast and it's uh, it's a beautiful beautiful make along she basically invites uh, everyone to make um uh, something that they would wear as a sweatshirt basically yeah whatever that means for you um is very open uh, type of knit along and i really like the concept and since i've um wore the other project similar to this one still made made with the same unspun yarn notiden so much i wore it too, like too much and i'm still wearing it so much i decided to make another one uh, this is the tulip um, jumper by melody hoffman uh, it's it's an absolutely beautiful pattern i modified it a little bit quite a lot no i don't know <laughs> i made this like neck like a taller neck in two by two ribbing instead of one by one. And I was thinking maybe I'll just fold it like that or like that or keep it like that. We'll see, we'll see when I'll wear it. Um, but I absolutely love the color and the only issue here there isn't really an issue, but I decided to use needle size four millimeters instead of five. I think that's what the pattern recommends. And the fabric, like I'm using a lot more yardage than I used before. I think before I used 280 grams of Notiden to knit a full garment. So two plates of Notiden and now I've been using already two and a half and I'm I'm not even done with the body. I'm about to <laughs> look at my stitch markers <laughs> find the pieces of yarns. Um but um I'm about to knit the little scalloped hem hemline and that's fun. Um, construction and yeah I've knitted just the this much with the two and a half plates so yeah I'm uh, knitting it at a tighter with a tighter gauge I say right um, yeah and with Notiden it kind of peels quite a lot and don't really love that but it's so amazing the softness and the warmth that you can spend extra time on like picking up the peels how do you say the peels the peeling little fluffs um here and there so there's no problem i guess or you can hold it together with the silk mohair then the silk mohair will kind of bind the the yarn and the fiber together so it will it will peel less i would say um, but this project is absolutely beautiful and it will be my my sweatshirt um, I love the color as well it will do a little matchy matchy with the hat I've knitted so that's fun okay so this is one of my work in progress projects and I just want to knit on it all the time um, but I decided to give some love to other little whips that I have or big whips so yeah let me show you those whips <clears throat> let's start with this one this is also a project that I'm knitting for a make-along this one it's a make-along that I'm hosting and it's called the hug me home make-along and I'm hosting it for my patrons. If you want, you can participate. Um, it's called Hug Me Home and it's about making a something for honoring our bodies and ourselves. And I decided to 
make this super cozy and light and airy um, drop shoulder top down sweater. This I self drafted it. I not following any pattern and I really love it. It's so so soft. I'm knitting it with a yarn. Um, I'll explain a little bit about the yarn first. I guess that's the thing that needs to be explained <laughs> with this project. But it's knitted with needle size 5 millimeters. And I'm using a basically lace wait, yarn, I would say. My sister, she lives in Ireland. When she came to Italy for Christmas, she gifted me these beautiful skeins of yarn for the hats and for this project. So I'm using BC Garn Baby Alpaca, this mini set, which is all about shades of grey. As you can see um, but I don't have like unless I will buy another mini set to complete um, this project with all these shades of grey I didn't have enough yardage to finish this project um, this is um, 625 meters in total like all mini skeins put together and I still have um, enough to finish these uh, two sleeve, the two sleeves, but I decided to add some beautiful touch of silky silvery pink. <laughs> so and I think it fits really well. I don't know if you can see it. Um, now I'm adding this dark gray, which was in the mini set. And I don't know if this fits super well, so we'll see if I unravel, I will unravel this part and add more of this or like another of these greys that I have. I don't have any more um, of this dark grey, I only have this really dark, dark grey. But we'll see, we'll see. I love to, um, you know, patch together or add different colors or different grays or different you know cozy yarns to this project um, that's what we can do as knitters i mean i was thinking to actually buy another of these mini sets but i wasn't really into having something all gray um, i don't know it was a bit demotivating to have to knit with only gray i mean i love this yarn I love also the colorways. I just wanted to add a pop of color or a pop of something. For this part, I'm mixing together a cone that I was gifted by my favorite Ali from the Ali Sweat Pants podcast. She gifted me this cone, uh, two cones of this yarn actually in two different colors. This is from Silk City Fibers and is the color 628 Walnuts. I love this color. I made another garment with this one and I'm holding it together with some silk mohair in this kind of baby pink, light pink together. I think it's really beautiful. Um, yeah, I think we'll see if I'll continue with this dark uh, gray or I'll just maybe repeat one of these colors we'll see but I love this garment and it's so light and fluffy 100% alpaca the grays and um, just can't wait to wear this I think I'll wear it a lot in, in the bed and also in spring and autumn or layer it in the winter but it's so soft this can really go next to skin so I'm really excited to finish this and yeah I have still these two beautiful colorways left and um, a little bit of um, the other colorways that I used but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful project and I really want this year to focus a lot on uh, 
dating myself, giving, showering myself with love and beautiful, soft projects. So that's <laughs> another work in progress project. If you've been here before, you've seen this project. I was kind of, um, I unraveled all the body because, um, yeah, it wasn't really my cup of tea. I don't know, it wasn't really calling me anymore. So this is the project. I've um, followed the color work from the pattern Milkweed by Jamie Nito Sophie. I don't remember the designer name. I'll put it on the screen. So I love the, the way the color work work looks and I love the yoke but I didn't like the body it had a lot of different colors because I was playing and I'm still playing yarn chicken as usual uh, and I know I have to improve I'll, I'll improve I'll try not to play yarn chicken but sometimes it just gives me like extra creativity when when I don't have enough yardage I could just you know, explore what I can use to finish the project instead of buying one extra skein. But it's not always good, <laughs> not at all. I wish I had more yardage of this beautiful walnut brown color that I hand dyed myself. So yeah, I hand dyed this color. It was like light gray, 100% uh, non-superwashed yarn that I got from a Lithuanian company website called Yarn Home. I got this beautiful yarn, it was this light light grey and I wanted to you know dye it and I used walnut hulls. I think I made a video if you want to check it and it created this beautiful beautiful color. I added some stripes of other colors and yeah I don't have enough to finish the the project I have this much left and I think it will be enough to finish the sleeves at three quarter length so that's what I'm hoping for uh, but I'm gonna knit it cropped and I decreased quite a lot I'm knitting the ribbed hemline the ribbed hem with um, the white. This is a another baby alpaca by BC Garn. Love this this yarn. I love it. It's the same yarn I mentioned before, and it's just the softest. I'm so happy I put it on the neckline because it's so soft. And so I still have a little bit of this white. So I'm gonna knit the. The hem, playing yarn chicken, like I'm the queen of yarn chicken. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I really, I'm really looking forward to have this garment. And uh, we'll see how it will turn out, cropped. I think I'll still love it. Now it's a little bit more toned down before the body had a lot of stripes in these colors like white, gray, brownish and like was a little, I mean, I still really liked it but then when I tried it on I was like, I'm not going to use this garment and I love the yoke so I'm really happy I'm uh, at this stage right now. So very happy. And I hope I'll be able to knit the sleeves, you know, three quarter length sleeves. Hope for the best. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I could buy some other, like a little bit more of this white. It's just that I don't want the sleeves to be completely white because this much is on the sleeves and is colored and, you know, then I don't want the sleeves to be only white, but think I'll have enough yardage to knit the sleeves three quarter length otherwise um, we'll find another another way I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not the the most precise podcaster or knitter I'm just 
a little wild when it comes to making garments and I'm a little bit on a budget to be honest and so I cannot always buy so much extra um, in this case is a little bit different but I know it doesn't really make sense because if I spend so much time making a project and then I play yarn chicken it's just like so little to buy extra yardage for the time spent um, but yeah this is what it is right now I'm gonna show you this project <laughs> this also was an old whip that I've started in September I would say October. So this is a massive cardigan that I've started and I self-drafted it. I didn't follow any pattern. It's a top-down raglan construction um, and it has these beautiful colors. I got inspired by a cup, <laughs> one of my ceramic cups that my mom gifted me and it has these beautiful colors together so i decided to i had extra like in my stash i had little skeins and scraps um, in these colors and uh, i decided to hold them together with some mohair that i have in my stash and it created this it's kind of like little fences <laughs> If you go to, to the mountains on the Alps, uh, there are fences, like wooden fences that look like this. Anyhow, I finished the body, my god, my hair everywhere. Uh, I finished the body long ago, but I couldn't be bothered to continue and knit the sleeves because I was playing yarn chicken as well. I didn't have enough of this beautiful grey. So I decided, <laughs> I decided that the sleeves would be knitted like this, but I'm not sure yet. I think that up to here, so all of this is beautiful, but the ribbing is a little bit of a mess. Um, it starts too early. So I think I'll unravel this part, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. I'll first focus on the other sleeve and then see how much yardage I have. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll unravel the ribbing and, you know, continue working with some of these colors, combine them together and then knit the ribbing. But I don't know. I'm not completely mad with how this looks. I think looks cute. I just don't know about this ribbing. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'm knitting the other sleeve, so let's hope for the best. But yeah, in this bag I have all of these scraps and this is really like a kind of scrappy project, but it's still a full garment. Like it's a very long cardigan and I actually need a cardigan that is longer than my butt. Um, then, yeah, longer than my butt. <laughs> that kind of covers completely my butt. It's long and I love that. I just need to figure out that color combo on the sleeves. Um, but yeah, I think that some knitters would be mad at me <laughs> or at themselves if, the, if they were in my position and like using, I don't know, playing yarn chicken and so on. But for me, it's just for now, it's so much fun. There are days uh, when if I play yarn chicken at the project that I really want to have in that specific color, I don't know, and I have very little yarn, then those days maybe I'm a little bit mad I'm a little mad at myself but with this project I'm I'm just enjoying you know the creativity that comes with with this with playing yarn chicken another project uh, another whip that I was working on some time ago I blocked it and I decided to so I was knitting on this beautiful vest. This is the Winterberry Vest by Emily Foden. 
yeah, the stitches are not on the needles because I decided to block it and try um, to see. I was thinking to unravel it. This project is quite big and I'm not really into it. And I was thinking to either make a cow, so unravel this part and just cast it off and make a cow, or just use the yarn for a project that I'm really excited to knit and is the Calville shawl by Gabriella from the Meriwether Knitting Podcast. She, I made already that shawl. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful shawl. I want to make it in a white or creamy white yarn and this is the perfect yarn for it. So I could also use, unravel this and use it for that project. Um, it's just that it's a bit of a shame because it's not so bad. Maybe I can make a cow. We'll see. My battery is running out. I'm getting a little bit stressed because I can see it on the screen on the side and I'll be like, oh my God. So thank you so very much. I'll put the name of the giveaway winner here and please contact me so I can send you that beautiful book and uh, I'll leave the email in my email in the description box so you can contact me or you can contact me on Instagram. Um, please do. And uh, thank you so very much for being here and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for being here anyway and for supporting me. I really cherish your presence. The fire, I need to fix the fire because it's getting very cold and it kind of... Do you want to check that one? Yeah.